<laughs> Michael and I had such a fun weekend. It's now Monday and it's just time to bounce back. And there's nothing that makes me happier than just being in my routine. I'm such a routine girl and I'm so big on bouncing back, okay? Like, I like to have fun. I'm gonna take some shots. I'm gonna have a good time. When the time is right, I'm going to bounce back and get back into my routine. I just wanted to pick up the camera and just bring you guys along with how I reset. You guys were just so sweet in the last video. I always feel like I don't know, I don't want to make boring content feel like it's too repetitive. But so many of you reassured me that you like love watching the vlogs despite it being super exciting or not. You just love the content. Oh, I got my hair done. I really like it a lot. I was nervous because I've been such a middle part girly, but my middle part is fried. We gotta give her a break and bring her back to life. It felt like it took up so much of my time. We are back from the grocery store. I got a lot of stuff, but the thing is, Michael was with me. He kind of made some extra decisions for us. These are for Mila. We give her this like hip and joint um, support because she has bad joints, guys. She's getting old. She's six years old, and we give her about five of these a day. I did chicken, garlic, parmesan, butter dollops. I got myself a little blueberry pie. This is gonna be so good. Also got tortillas, potatoes. I think I'm gonna make potatoes tonight. Um, onion, jalapeno, sourdough bread, asparagus. This is a toner that I like. I know this strips your skin barrier. I do not care. This helps with my acne. I've had acne my whole life and I've used this pretty much since high school and I just can't get rid of it. There's probably better things on the market, but I love it because it just keeps my breakouts all the way down. struggled with finding bras that fit and that are comfortable for you. I have been a 32 double D for as long as I can remember. I've always had a bigger chest size. It's just always been a struggle for me, which is why I'm super excited to talk to you guys about Parade, who's sponsoring this portion of the video. I love Parade because they offer underwear, bras, bralettes, loungewear, lingerie at an affordable price but they are also very size inclusive. For me, that's really important because I've always grown up with a bigger chest and it's always been hard for me to find bras that just fit me. I'm currently wearing the Seamless Universal Support Lift Scoop Bralette. I love this. I love wearing like seamless bralettes that aren't going to be digging into me as I'm working. I'm also really obsessed with their invisible thong. I love a seamless thong. It's perfect for when you're wearing a skirt, when you're wearing leggings, when you're working out. Seamless thongs all the way. If you want to try them out, I do have a great discount code. Use Janet40 for 40% off site-wide. Guys, when I say their stuff is affordable, it's really affordable and you're going to find something for you. So thank you Parade for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get back into this video. We're in the office right now. The Echo is so much better. All I need is a little rug in here and I think the Echo is going to be gone for good. Michael fixed the paint on the wall. Um, it was really easy for him to fix. So he fixed that and the couch was delivered yesterday which was super exciting so we put that together really quickly this couch is really easy to put together so if you are interested in it i'm going to link it down below tiny little love seat it's only like 65 inches long and i think it fits really great in this space and obviously all of this is the same yeah i really really love the way this is coming along um i love that the echo is getting better it's still a little bit echoey but it's not as bad because the couch is taking up so much space so once we get a nice rug on the floor the echo is going to be gone completely and i can start filming in here i have been using notion lately and honestly guys i've been loving notion so much i didn't think i would become a notion girly but i've been learning it a lot 
and it's been really cool. I also use Becca Watson's planner. Okay, yeah, this is what she kind of looks like. It's backlit, but it's really aesthetic and I love it. So I'm gonna use my little weekly planner. What I'm gonna do is I am going to just plan for the week. Plan my workouts, plan my meals, what things I wanna clean and organize. I wanna do a lot of organizing this week. Let's get a plan in place. <laughs> studying in the office and it just feels so amazing i feel like i've needed this because y'all know i've been studying for my exam downstairs which isn't bad but there's just a lot of distractions downstairs with mila i'm going to take a berry's boot camp class at 12 which i'm super excited about which what time is it it's 9 43 yeah we're doing a run and lift class today which i'm super excited about getting a good pump in i'm so grateful for every one of you yesterday we decided to just like celebrate the milestone and Honestly, I am so glad Michael was here these last couple of days because if he wasn't here, then I probably wouldn't have celebrated. And that's like an issue that I have. Like it's such a bad issue that I have 
with myself. Like I don't, I work towards something that I want so badly, but I will restrict myself from celebrating. I don't know, I feel as though I have a lot of imposter syndrome at times and I like just fight with myself on actually celebrating and feeling proud of these accomplishments that come and go. So then they end up just coming and going and I hate that. Although I felt so uncomfortable making the videos and taking the pictures, I'm just so happy I have those memories whether I post them or not. I'm gonna try to post them because I feel like I need to. I am so tired of getting in my own way and getting in my own head because there's no one no one standing in my way but me. Like, it is only me. I am my biggest op sometimes, and I'm trying to work on that this year. Like, in my head, I just tell myself, like, why are you doing this? This is so cringe. Like, this isn't that big of a deal, or it took you so long. Like, I'll just start telling myself these things that aren't true. I don't know, I'll just start believing it, and then I'll stop doing the thing that I wanna do, like celebrating myself, or posting something fun, or, posting a video or filming a random video like this like I don't know I just get into my own head and I've just got to stop doing that and this year I'm really gonna be working on that for sure so if you have that issue if you have like that issue we need to work on this together but anyway I, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support I say this in almost every video I feel but like I am so grateful for you guys so many times you guys say that I have changed your lives but you guys have changed my life in so many ways. I feel like this channel has helped me really like reflect on myself, on my life, and it's really helped me get exactly where I want to go. At least it's put me on a great path to getting where I want to go. Has been up and down. If you've been watching my channel for years, you know I've not always been this way. I've not always had the mindset that I have and it's taken a lot of growth to get where I am. And I look back on older videos of myself and I'm like, I am not that girl anymore. Been a huge shift in my identity and self within the last year alone. We're not perfect. We're not trying to be perfect, but we're working towards becoming our best selves in the best way possible while celebrating who we truly are at the same time within our core, because we are great people, regardless of wanting to be better. We are amazing people and I want to continue to spread that message in my videos as well. So no matter how long it takes you to become the person that you want to be, no matter how long this journey takes, it is always worth it. But yeah, we're going to study for a few more hours and then we're going to go to Barry's and get a good run in. I've talked enough. I've rambled enough. I need to get back to work, but I will see you guys whenever we go to Barry's.
That is crazy. Four years. Actually, it's been three years since I was a coach because I quit the year after this. So it's been three years since I've coached. And it honestly feels like longer. It feels like it's been 10 years, but it's only been three years. And I quit teaching altogether two years ago. And honestly, it feels like it's been five years since I quit teaching, but it's only been two years since I quit teaching. I miss it. I miss it so much. I miss coaching cheer so much. I just like miss like game day. I miss competition. I miss like getting ready for competition. I just miss that whole aspect of it. I literally don't miss the drama. I don't miss parents. Some parents I miss, okay? I miss some of my parents, like Pam and like a few of the parents that were just so helpful, but it was so fun. And it was something that just like kept me like so busy in my 20s. I don't think I could ever go back to that environment because it can be very toxic. I mean, if you've ever been a cheerleader or a dancer or a part of that world, you already know how toxic it can get. But like, oh my God, like it, it can never just be about the sport, especially when it comes to like cheer and dance. I do want to do a video on like why I quit teaching. I've been contemplating doing like a full sit down video about this because I have a lot I would love to say. And honestly, I feel like I'm finally at a place where, I don't know, I am not so jaded towards the profession. Every other time I wanted to film a video, I found myself wanting to be very messy and that's not productive and that's not cute and I want to keep it cute on the internet, but I feel like I'm finally at a place where I could film the video and not be messy <laughs> and not speak out of like anger or air out people's dirty laundry because I so badly want to do that too. <laughs> Just know, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stop there. around the house michael and i have been organizing so much we did the front closet which was so bad michael cleared out the whole pantry our pantry was a disaster guys pantry was a disaster so he cleared out like pretty much the whole walkway of the pantry my job is to go through obviously the food and just try to find some structure in the pantry we went for a run today and I have not run outside in so long. We decided to go running outside and I did my co-pilot workout outside today because I just needed it. Like I just did not want to go to the gym. I needed a change of scenery. And it was so great. It was great. Honestly, I don't know if I could run outside by myself. I'm glad Michael was there with me, but like, I don't know if I could run outside by myself, guys. There is a rainy street murderer, murderer on the loose, okay, here in Austin, Texas. They found so many bodies in the lake and I'm just like, you know what, mm -mm. Sometimes I feel like I could run downtown though because it's pretty busy. I just have to work my way up to that point. So until then, I will be taking my little interval classes at like berries and stuff. <laughs> this whole section here this was filled to the brim this whole section here was filled to the brim all of this was filled and Michael cleared out this whole section we just have this stuff left of course now look at our food portion like it is just not organized it's chaotic I cannot function in here I have things like this like from Thanksgiving that I don't even use like I'm not using this, I'm not using this. I just have too much in here that's just not being used. Yeah, and then some of the stuff is expired too. So I just want to group everything together. I want all the cans to be together. I want every shelf to kind of have a purpose. And I want to organize out like my pasta, rice, grains, things like that. So whenever we go in there, it's just not chaos. <laughs> Okay. 
this is what I've done so far. It still looks chaotic, but it looks much better than before. Over here on this corner, we have all of like the fitness stuff, protein powder, PB2, pre-workout. have pastas and pasta sauce here, as well as some random nuts. Then here we have seasonings. I need to find a seasoning rack on Amazon. I grab for seasonings so much and I would honestly benefit from a nice seasoning rack where I can visualize everything. All my tea stuff, canned goods, pasta and rice, and then this is all baking stuff. Down here, I didn't really mess with this area right here. I don't know what I want to do with this stuff, but this is organizational stuff. This is snacks. Got my Boom Chicka Pop on deck, some tortilla chips, some popcorn. Yeah. Okay guys, so that is the pantry so far. We're done for now with that. I can actually like see what I have in there and what I don't have. And I'm not gonna buy a whole bunch of duplicates because most of the time I'll go grocery shopping and just buy duplicates because I literally don't know what I have and don't know what I don't have. Put these just in there somewhere. when opening DMs. So if you ever DM'd me and I like DM you three days later or a week later or two weeks later, just know I'm like, I'm trying, like I get really anxious when it comes to that app. I don't know why, I don't know why, but I'm trying. Hopefully I post <laughs> my reels before this video goes live, we'll see. But yeah guys, thank you so much for joining me. Michael and I are gonna go get our little brunch on. I'm trying to get back into like my super health grind. I talked about it in a recent video that I'm trying to like get into like a muscle growth, weight loss phase, weight loss, body recomp for the summer. So let me know if you guys would like to see a video on that because like I'm so serious about it. I love my body and I think my body is perfect right now, but I do feel like I look a little soft and I don't mind that. I feel like I'm such a soft girl. Okay, no I'm not. I would like to be a soft girl. Yeah, I do want to like go into like more muscle growth. So that's what I'm focusing on. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go because Michael's sitting in the car. Mila's still outside though. So anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video if you like content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye. Bye.